And we are underway in Valdesale. Look at Schwartz Bauer goes and Rue beside him. Schwartz Bauer, the fastest starter now. There he is, Schwartz, leading in the first corner. Schwartz Bauer, like a motocross bike, leaving a trail <laughs> off the start line as he digs another furrow in this field in Valdesale. Look at him go. Every battle stroke in the first few hundred meters are right there. Joshua Dubow in the dark blue yeah. top of the number eight alongside him. Jordan Saru, the winner for the last time out, the number one BMC alongside him. See Vlad Daskali, uh, Martins Blooms also a little bit further down. Simon Andreas uh, here. Andreas not looking happy Andreas at the back. Rider here. Total pile up on the way in through the tunnel now. Yeah, it's not that easy for these riders, even if it's only the best 40 riders of the world. Now watch for action here as they hit on this rock garden. Josh Cross and saying very little traction available here. The world's best making good sense, but though no. Lucas Schwarzbar, you can't take your eyes off him out front. Jordan Saru hanging in behind him. The Flamont with him as well, yeah, as yeah, is the Bo. In the, yeah, the green jersey on third place, a very strong start. Flugiger and Schurter behind them, the two Swiss riders. Schwarzbar looks over the shoulder, who's with me? Everyone. But also short track racing is important for start position, for points, for the overall standing. So it's by Dubow now leading this group. Dubow, one of the standout acts of 2023 so far, nearly took victory in the Olympic distance in Nova Meso Namarave behind Tom Pidcock, but Really, really impressing. And moving to the front now, Schwarzbauer letting him as well. Yeah, probably these riders in front, they will slow down a little bit, and for the rest, it's difficult to find their positions, their lines. Haverly off. Haverly just having the tripod his way up there slightly, foot on clipped. The yeah, riders are still very close together. I mean, the whole, the top 40, I would say, they're all very close together. They're all right together, aren't they? It is, yeah. That little flat turn there, awkward. You're having to get on the anchors and get the bike turned at the same time. Sure, now, second wheel. Schwarzbar, Schurter, De Flamont, Flukiger, Shermans, then the big man, Sam Gaze, Dubow now coming to the front, trying to get to the front, trying to get around the outside of Sam Gaze. Sam Gaze says, no thanks, yep. stay where you are. Jens Schiermans with the number 14 on this uh, bike. Jens Schiermans getting stronger most, and stronger yeah, as the season goes on. Yeah, most of the time, uh, also very strong in uh, short track racing. We have seen him many times on the first row at uh, the start. It's Lukas Schwarzbar again, leading here. I haven't seen in 22nd, a bit further back from this battle at the front, but not that far back. I'm wondering when the speed will go up for the serious attack, the finals. Also, Nino has a perfect race so far, all the time in the front of the race. We see this, don't we, week in, week out, at the front of a cross-country short track race is where you want to be. Maybe not leading it, second or third, just biding your time, sizing people up, staying safe. And then they'll ride up. Sure, turning the screw a wee bit at the front of this one. Schwarzbar is not in far contention to both. Big swerve round there. Really awkward section up through the rocks, but Sure, who leads them on the base of this climb again. Yeah, out of the saddle now, pushing hard. Serious attack. Also, Pierre Pomar here in the green jersey will be a race, will be a factory team. Back into the descent of the four cross course. Part of the track course it is. Yeah, grip level's not looking too bad out there. As I say, it still is raining, but it's pretty light now, so I don't think this track will deteriorate much more. The pace is still high in the front. Yeah, of it's a matter of time now before we see a real attack run of the riders. That is a who's who of the top 20 of the elite men in the world. Heading out onto the penultimate lap now, lap seven. De Bodo still with them in the blue for Rock Rider Ford. There is Matthias Flukiger, the tongue comes out. You know you're trying hard when the tongue comes out. I don't have to leave behind him on fifth place. Pierre from uh, Jordan Saru, Sam Gase. They're all there. All these riders very close to him. Everyone favoring that inside line to set them up for that double jump before. Schwartz Bar then in the red and white behind Nino Schurter in the black and white ahead of Dubow in the blue. And you see now the pace is high, the field's a little bit thinner at the end. The overall points leader in the short track, Jordan Saru on the right hand side, but it's Lucas Schwartz Bar who leads him in that right hander for the final lap now. Matthias Fickler now on third place and Marcus Blum is one of the last riders here of this leading group. And it's Schwartz Bar who leads him at the bottom of this climb. Yeah, Josh Medibo second place, then Matthias Flicker on third place. At the bottom of the last climb of There's the race. Sure, sure, moving into the yeah, 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 coming inside. Matthias Flicker, they have been battling before in a situation like this. Schwartz Bar from Dubot leads them out of it. And now a long sprint to the top. 
Schwarz Bauer out in the saddle, tap in the power on up this one. Flukiger in third place, Saru's behind him, Sherman. And this will hurt in the Nino Scherter going riders. backwards now, Nino Scherter. The, the pace is too much for him at the top of this one. Yeah, get it from also good finish now here on top. Schwartz Bar making a good case to take the win here. With a small gap, Josh Reddybo in second place. It's coming back to, together. It comes down to a sprint. Schwarzbauer goes, he's not hanging around, he doesn't want to take it to the line, he wants to start a sprint now. The horsepower of Lukas Schwarzbauer. Schwarzbauer takes them down the line and look at the celebration, he knows how good a performance that is. Lukas Schwarzbauer takes the win in Val de Sole ahead of Alan Haverley. From Joshua Debo, from Pierre de Foimont, from Jens Sherman. What a masterclass from Lucas Schwartzbauer that was. Absolutely superb racing.